Hello everybody, it is Drew here from Lone Fox, and if you are not following me on Instagram, you need to do so. My Instagram is Lone Fox Home because this all correlates back to Instagram, this video. And you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? Well, about a two or three weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram story as I came across this bathroom vanity. This was literally sitting on the side of the road. It looked like it had been neglected and abused and it needed a new home. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I wasn't a humongous fan of it in its current state. However, I saw so much potential in like renovating this piece. So I had a couple of my friends actually help me kind of pull this into my other friend's garage because this house was close by it was a whole story and this is what occurred this is a story of how i just found this basically i was driving to my friend james's house this was on the side of the road and this just looks like it has so much potential like i see a lot of potential here at first i thought it was a dresser then i realized it was like a two sink vanity but i want to flip this for my channel so badly so i'm gonna pick it up right now and i'm gonna pull it over to my car and figure out a plan at the moment it's so heavy it's like 200 pounds oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so once it finally got into the garage i was like okay this is perfect i'm going to spend the next couple of days renovating this piece because my friend that was actually living in that house that had the garage was moving out in about a week so i knew i only had a couple of days to renovate this within the garage and that is exactly what we are doing in today's video so these clips were maybe filmed like a week or so ago but it's just like a fun casual sit back relax but i really wanted to share this with you guys because you seemed super super interested over on instagram and i'm not only super excited about the vanity i am also extremely excited about today's video sponsor which is spotlight now something that was crazy about when they reached out to me is i was looking online for a professional toothbrush i my roommate has one and i've always just used like the cheap ones from like a random drugstore however my roommate's toothbrush she got for christmas and it was 300 dollars. and i was like i'm going to just like steer clear of that one at the moment um and then spotlight oral care reached out and was like can we send you this toothbrush we'd love to know your results with it and i was like absolutely so they sent along their toothbrush set which came with basically like the toothbrush which looks like this super cute and it also came with some new toothbrush heads as well and then also a carrying case and the charger i am obsessed obsessed with this toothbrush it has three different modes there is clean white and sensitive my favorite thing that i think i got which i was always scared of these these are the dental teeth whitening strips and i had such a bad experience with whitening strips in high school like oh my gosh if i tell you guys like i did it one time and i had sensitive teeth for a full-on week it was insane however i can gladly say i've not even tried them since that my high school incident these though i just tried about a week ago i've done three of them so far they're amazing like i I absolutely love these they do not make your teeth feel sensitive at all um so i think i might just have sensitive teeth in general and their products are vegan cruelty toxin and sulfate free they're also sustainable which is amazing it's a very sustainable brand and all their packaging is 100 percent recyclable i have just been absolutely loving this toothbrush like it has three different speeds um, and it's just been working amazing. It does exactly what any professional toothbrush I feel like should do. I feel like my teeth feel really, really clean after. And I've also absolutely been loving the dental teeth whitening strips. I don't know why I'm literally calling it dental teeth whitening strips. These are whitening strips. And they actually provided me with even a better discount for you guys. You can get 25% off if you click the link in the description box below. So head over, check out their site. They have other products than the ones that I just shared with you as well. They have some other great products I want to try out. Okay, so now it is time to kind of rewind back about two weeks to when I found this vanity and started the actual makeover process so let's get into that good morning guys it is renovation day or day one i should say of this vanity so some of you guys might be wondering drew where did you get that vanity how did you find that what's the tea behind that vanity and basically i shared this with you guys over on my instagram so if you are not following me on instagram first of all you probably need to do so it is lone fox home i'll put it there but i basically posted photos of this and i was like guys i literally found this on the side of the street do I need to make it over? Do I need to film it as a video? What should I do? And everyone was like, please take that. That is stunning. And I was like, I know it really is. I'm going to get it. So I did. And let me share it with you guys. So it is just a really, really nice kind of wood base. However, there is a lot of wear and tear on it, as you can see. But the nice thing is that this wear and tear is very like surface level. It is not. There's a little bit, especially right here, that I'm going to have to try to figure out how to mask this off. But I think I have some form of solution for that. But a lot of these other like minor little chips here are nothing that's too deep. I think the paint should be able to cover that pretty well it has some really cool vintage hardware however i do think i'm going to change this to go with the color that i chose and then the top of the actual vanity is this brown kind of stone i don't know the exact name of this stone but 
kind of has this marbling rippled effect that goes across horizontally. There's two sinks, and I loved the legs and all of this intricate gold detail. However, I am going to be covering up this gold detail because it's not my favorite in terms of how I would style this in my own bathroom. I really want to paint this all and still have the detail here, but it's going to be like the same exact color as the base of this. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe. And I think I'm going to start off by trying to somehow create new edges for these pieces right here. So I have a sustainable wood filler and I kind of want to start off by somehow trying to fix this. So I want to add some wood filler to this section here. I also think these knobs are so cool, so I'm gonna keep these for future projects, and I'll have about six of them, which should be good if I do like a small dresser or something. So if you guys remember the makeover I did of Marie's small bathroom, we painted her vanity as well and I used this same exact primer which is the Benjamin Moore Fresh Start Multi-Purpose Latex and this worked amazing. It's meant for wood trim, drywall, exterior siding so it's really like weather resistant and it holds up great to water. And I feel sad because on camera this looks so pretty but it's also so beat up but at the same time I really think this in a color is going to look really really pretty in the end and I kind of want to change it up because I feel like it's a little bit gaudy in a way. Alrighty guys, it is day two of the vanity makeover. I got ready and I came over this morning. I actually had to go pick up some sandpaper first because I wanted to sand down the wood putty that we did. And it literally took me over an hour to find sandpaper. I had to go to four different stores, but I finally found it. And I already went ahead and sanded it because I wanted to see how it would work. And this is what I sanded it down to. I hope you could see, but it's super smooth. And I actually recreated kind of the curve in the wood that follows all the way along here. Um, it might not be exactly perfect, but I tried my hardest to at least make it a little bit better than it was prior. Now it's time to add the actual color to it, which I'm so excited for, but I'm going to prime this first and then we're going to do the color. So if you remember the paint that I used on Marie's vanity in her small bathroom makeover, it was this same exact one. This is the Benjamin Moore Advanced Waterborne Interior Paint in the satin finish. This is really, really nice for cabinets or anything very like high traffic heavy duty. So this is the color. You can probably see it right there, but I want to share it with you guys. This is called um, Vintage Vogue by Benjamin Moore. Very nice olive tone that has some gray in it, and it actually dries much darker than this. As you can see, it's pretty light here. When you put the sample on the lid, I was like, that is so light but it actually dries quite a bit darker. So this is the color that is going to be put on the entire vanity over every single piece. And I guess we could start painting this on there. Because this vanity has quite a bit of detail in it, what I suggest doing is picking up a bit of paint and really kind of like stippling and rubbing it into the detailed sections and then kind of smoothing it out going over the top of it with a paintbrush one more time and blending it in with the background that it is on. So the color does go on pretty light, as you guys can see. It kind of appearing a bit darker, but it is pretty light. However, the coat of this paint is just already so opaque and nice, and it's self-leveling as well, so it's kind of starting to level itself out, and the brush strokes are going to go away. However, I'm really liking this so far. I think it looks amazing. The color's so pretty, and I cannot wait to see this once it's all on there. The details also are popping so much. Uh, the white was a little bit intimidating, but the green's really making them pop a bit more.
Good morning, guys. It is day three of the makeover of the vanity, and I want to share with you the current state. Of course, it is now dried from the last time that I worked on it, and this is what it currently looks like. As you can see, the color just transformed into this really nice kind of dark olive color, which I love. As you can see, there is still some streakiness on here, which I'm going to take care of um, and just try to make sure that everything looks nice and opaque when it's fully finished, but it does need another coat, so that's what I'm going to start off by doing is applying a second coat of the paint color to the entire vanity. Look how far this paint stretches. I have probably used one fourth of the can to paint this entire vanity two times, which I think is crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to undo the tape on all of the hinges, touch it up with a brush if needed, and I forgot all of the gold knobs at home. So I'm actually gonna drive back home, get the knobs, put them on, and we're gonna see kind of what the vanity looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. Back home and here are the knobs I set aside yesterday for the dresser. This is a 10 pack. It is the brushed brass um, handles and these are on Amazon. So I'll link these below for you guys. They look like this. If you guys remember, I featured these recently. So I had to whip out my drill when it came to applying the knobs onto the top section and also the swing out doors. So for the top section, I just needed to widen the holes a little bit because I couldn't get a screwdriver underneath. So that's exactly what I did with the drill. And then on the doors, I actually needed to relocate the holes a bit so that the knobs didn't kind of hit when they came together and they looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I just finished adding all of the hardware to the vanity, all of the knobs, and then also the faucet and the sinks. I'll make sure to link all of those below for you guys too if you're curious. Everything is from Amazon. I actually had purchased the faucet for Marie's bathroom makeover, but it didn't come in time. So I was like, okay, let me just order one more for this vanity makeover. And we're gonna end up putting one of them in Marie's bathroom, but I figured I'd stage this for you guys for the time being because it's literally just sitting in a garage and it doesn't look that cute. However, I'm going to try my hardest to take a great photo of this and honestly Photoshop kind of like a bathroom setup that I would personally design around this vanity so you can kind of get the idea for what I'm going for now this vanity I originally was going to actually just sell on like offer up or something um, I wasn't exactly too sure what I wanted to do with it but my parents just purchased a new house in Arizona they are moving out of California sadly and I actually decided that when I go and do one of their bathroom makeovers in the future I really want to use this vanity so my dad's gonna come down tomorrow and pick this up and take it to the new house which that will come definitely down the road for sure I don't have any plans to make over that bathroom anytime soon but I'm I'm just blabbering on at the moment so let me share with you guys the finished vanity Okay, so that was the finished makeover of this vanity. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely a little bit more casual and not as super, super in-depth as some of my past DIY projects, but I love the simplicity of this and I feel like it can really share how you can transform random items you might find on the street or random items you might even own in your home into something brand new with just a little bit of paint. I also wanna give a humongous shout out to Spotlight Oral Care for sponsoring today's video and do not forget to click the link in the description box below to get 25% off of your first order, which is amazing. I've really, really been loving the toothbrush so far. Um, and I can't wait to continue using it. So I don't want to keep you guys here for much longer. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.